Hi folks, how's it going? Welcome to another little video idea I've had. And this is games that I'm most embarrassed to say that I have not actually completed yet. Now what do I mean by embarrassed? Basically because these are games that are either supposed to be really really good, or games that I like the look of, or games that I've played for a little while. And really really enjoyed them, but never actually completed them, I never actually played through them. And um, so yeah, I've got actually quite a few games here. I actually counted the games there, and it's quite convenient actually, I've got 20 here. So it could be a top 20, but um, yeah, a mixture of PS, uh, mostly PS2 and PS1 games with, a, uh, with a, a single PS3 game here. So uh, we'll work our way down, we'll start off with the PS3 game, and the PS3 game is Deus Ex Human Revolution. I got this about two years ago, it was like two Christmases ago, and I played it for about 40 minutes, and I uh, really, really liked the game, I thought it was really, really good, it has like stealthy, like stealth parts to it, it has like the RPG element where you can like say different things to people and stuff like that, you've got like a, an optional choice, which is pretty damn cool, I do like that in games, and uh, look again, it does seem like a really, really good game, I'm embarrassed to say I've not actually um, sat down and actually given type to this game to play through it, uh, but what I've read from like, reviews and people's opinions and stuff, people really, really enjoy this game and say it's a really, really good game. So, um, yeah, I've had it for over two years and I'm kind of embarrassed to say I've not actually uh, put much time into it and I've not played for it. So there's a Deus Ex Human Revolution. Right, we'll go into the PS2 games now. And uh, as you know, I'm a big racing fan and I've just got to put this in here. We have uh, Tucker Race Driver 3 on the PS2. Now, I don't remember how long ago I got this, it was probably about two or three years ago. I think it was like a, a three for five pound, uh, three PlayStation 2 games for a fiver. Uh, so I got it, so I was a big fan of Tucker Race Driver, the original, uh, with the first Tucker Race Driver on the PS2. Big fan of that game. Uh, I was always meaning to get the second game, but I never actually got around to it. But I got the third game, as you can see, it's got a two 9 out of 10 ratings. It's supposed to be a really, really good game. Put it on for about 40 minutes. And to be honest, it did seem like a really, really enjoyable game. Uh, but again, once I turned off the console and uh, took the disc out of the machine, I never put it back uh, in again, which has been about three years. I would say about three years. Uh, so it's quite embarrassing considering how much I really, really enjoyed the first game. You know, it's the kind of game I really like. You know, race simulators, how you can like, like during your career, you can like switch teams and stuff, and like, the damage, car damage, and that's really, really cool as well. Uh, it's just a you know a really really good, uh, good like game series you know Tucker Race Driver, um, so yeah I'm a bit bar embarrassed to say I've never actually played through that because uh, I really do like the look of it I think it looks fantastic you know, and uh, I, I should really add like the Gran Turismo games to this list because I've never actually like fully completed that, like any of them, you know because they're really long games and some of the challenges are really bloody and tough I could never do the like the endurances I couldn't play a game for like. Uh, a racing game for like four or five like hours or something, but you know, uh, I've decided not to add them to the list. So, <laughs> next one is the original uh, Max Payne on the PS2, of course. Uh, again, guys, Max Payne it does look like a, a pretty kick ass game. I used to have this when I uh, first got the PS2, it was one of the early games I got. I ended up trading it in because I thought it was too difficult. About two or three years ago, bought it back, played it for about 30 minutes. That seemed really, really cool. And um, just never played it again, guys, you know. And I have heard a lot of good things about uh, Max Payne 1 and 2 on uh, PS2. But uh, again, guys, never actually played through it. Apparently, it's got a. Uh, was it the BAFTA Interactive Entertainment Award winner 2001? Uh, so it's supposed to be really good. And um, kind of um, embarrassed to say I've not actually played through it. I do think the intro to the game is pretty bloody uh, sick, you know, how they have the dead baby in the cut and stuff. It's pretty bloody, uh, pretty well and brutal, to be honest. I'm surprised they got away with it, but, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, Max Payne on uh, the PS2. The next PS2 games we have... I'm trying to get the entire series up here and here, you know. If there's, like, two games from a certain series, I want to really, you know, show them both together, you know. Uh, so we have here... We have Grand Theft Auto 3 on uh, the PS2, of course. Well, Grand Theft Auto 3, guys, I loved this when I was younger. Uh, again, like a lot of people, I like just going around and killing people. 
uh, rather than actually doing the missions. I used to actually cheat in this game as well, which is quite sad. I never even completed the game, but I was using cheats when I originally played for it. I think the cheats, cheats, uh, cheats. Cheech? I think the cheats. Yeah, the cheats are in here still, actually. I don't know if I showed you them before, but there's a list of cheats for like cars and stuff you can get, and like invincibility and like extra weapons and things. So I used to always cheat with uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, but I never actually completed it anyway, you know. So it's not like I completed it, you know, non-legitimately or whatever you want to call it. But I do actually plan to go back and play for this game uh, at some point, would you? Because the only Grand Theft Auto game I played was San Andreas, and that took me more than years to complete that game to actually finally get around and actually decide to uh, play for it. But uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto 3, guys. First Grand Theft Auto I played, and uh, yeah, I thought it was really bloody cool. I really, really did. And we also have Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which was always what I considered my favourite. Going by like the soundtrack of the game, the locations in the game, you know, Vice City I thought looked really bloody cool, you know, the character Tommy Versetti, uh, Versetti was really bloody cool as well. Uh, probably my favourite character uh, in all the Grand Theft Auto games I've played. I do like CJ and uh, San Andreas, but I do actually like uh, Tommy Versetti and I think he's a really bloody cool dude, you know. And uh, yeah, just uh, like the, the setting and stuff, you know. Like the, the pink skies and stuff. I just think the game looks really bloody cool. And like I say, it's my favourite location in um, you know in a Grand Theft Auto game. You know, I mean, Vice um, San Andreas was quite cool at the beginning as well. But there were some parts of that game, like the countryside and, and uh, San Andreas, I wasn't really a, a huge fan of it. But um, yeah, I did really like Vice City, guys. I got pretty damn far, but embarrassed to say, I didn't actually play for it. I was at the bit at the end where you have to like, well near the end, we have to like start buying like properties and that. I think you have to go into like a big store or something and then trash it or something. So um, I think that was pretty damn far in the game, but uh, yeah, like I say, never completed it. It's actually probably one of the games I'm most embarrassed to say I've not actually completed. Uh, that along with a, a PS1 game that I'll show you later on. But anyway, uh, going by games from another series, we have on PS2, we have uh, Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy X. Oh, I've tried to play for this game on uh, three different occasions. Every time I end up failing. The first time I played for the game was probably the the first time I tried to play for the game was probably my best run. But um, I was a bit of a, a noob when it came to RPGs. So every time I like came into like a random encounter, I kept running away. That's never the thing to do in an RPG. I ended up getting to bosses and I just couldn't beat them because I was under level, you know. And like I love the characters and the settings, the characters, you know, like Yuna, Tidus, Riku, like Orin, they're bloody awesome. Waka, they're all cool. Uh, especially Lady Yuna, I love Yuna. I think Yuna's a fantastic character. Um, despite which, what they did to her in uh, Final Fantasy X2, made her a bit immature and stuff. But uh, her character in this was brilliant in my opinion. Uh, the couple of things that put me off the game was the uh, sphere grid. Every time you leveled up, you had to like kind of plot out your thing. So every time you level up, you get these like sphere things. And if you wanted to like I don't know more strength, you like as assign it to more strength. And if you or if you wanted to learn like a different spell or stuff like that, you have to like plot out your thing. I don't like that. I like it in RPGs where you level up and basically your attributes and that and like you learn new spells and that automatically. You don't have to like put out your thing. I wasn't a big fan of that at all. And also the the puzzles, I can't remember what you call them. But the puzzles are right pain in the arse. I hated them guys, I hated them. I didn't expect puzzles in a game like this. But there was puzzles. And cloister of trials, aye. Cloister of trials, pain in the arse trials, hated them. And I wasn't really a big fan of the, the sport thing either. It was like a, a underwater sport where you had to like throw a ball. Uh, <laughs> whatever you call that, guys. I, I can't really remember. Blitzball. There we go. Remember that as well. Uh, Blitzball. I wasn't a big fan of that. So, so many things in the game I wasn't a big fan of. But I did like, you know, the, like, the RPG part for you, like, battling enemies and stuff. And I did like the story. But um, there was quite a lot of negatives with the game. And that's probably why I never completed it. So, that's really all I can say on that game. Now, I was going to add this one. But I think I've changed my mind. I was going to say Final Fantasy XII, Final Fantasy XII. But I'm not going to add it, guys. I'm not going to add this game. 
I've not played enough of this game to be embarrassed about not completing it. I don't actually know much about this game to be embarrassed about completing it, you know. I don't know if it's supposed to be good. It's got a 10 out of 10 game in a year, apparently. But I don't know much about the game. So, to be honest, guys, I'm just... I'm not really embarrassed about not completing it. So, um... Yeah, feel free to let me know, guys, what you think of uh, Final Fantasy XII. But I can't... I don't really know too much about the game to be embarrassed about it. Uh, anyway, next we have, um... Sims 2. Brilliant game, guys. I do love The Sims 2. It's brilliant. But I've tried to play through it twice. Every time I play through it, I always get over halfway and then get bored. I got to the stage, when I was played this game, I got to the stage with the, the alien guys. So I was pretty far in the game. But I always end up getting bored of the game. Which is a shame, because it does seem like a real good game. And I do love the game. Don't get me wrong, I love the game. Spent lots of time playing The Sims 2. Um, and again, just embarrassed, I've not actually managed to play through the whole campaign. So, um, yeah, Sims 2, that's all I'm going to say on uh, that game. Next we have uh, Onamusha 3. Onamusha Warlord was uh, the first game in the series. It was brilliant, I thought it was really, really good. And I got lost quite a few times in the game. But as, a, as for like the, the gameplay and stuff, I thought it was really, really good, you know. And uh, I wanted to get Onamusha 2 first, but I ended up getting Onamusha 3 first. I played it for about half an hour. Seemed really, really good. And another um, 9 out of 10 game. Didn't you see that? 9 out of 10. And uh, yeah, just a brilliant looking game, guys. Just not really. Look, uh, oh, pardon me. I was not really managed to uh, put a lot of time into it, unfortunately. So um, yeah, Onamusha 3. A bit embarrassed I've not actually um, decided to play for that, because I'm a big fan of Capcom. And uh, I did like the first one on Musha. Right, so we're on to the last three uh, PS3 games. Uh, we'll start off with this one. We have uh, Lara Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary. Now, again, I'm kind of mixed whether to put this in there or not. Because I've got a bit of a mixed opinion on this game. I thought it started out brilliant, you know, obviously going from the PS1 games to this. Oh my god, it was a huge step up as far as like graphics and that go. I thought it looked absolutely beautiful. I loved the fight with the T-Rex. I thought the fight with the T-Rex was absolutely fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. But when they got to like the tombs, when I was playing this game, when you get to the tombs, I thought it was really bloody confusing, you know? I got lost. So, um, but yeah, I loved the game, guys. Up to that point, I loved the game. But the tombs really, really put me off the game. I don't know why, but they really, really did. So, um, but yeah, I would say I'm a bit embarrassed not to have played through it, but I will, I will play through it probably at some point, but it won't be on this. It'll probably be on uh, the HD uh, Tomb Raider Trilogy, HD Collection on the PS3. But uh, yeah, I decided to add that one. Because like I said, I wasn't enjoying it up to the, the point of the, the tomb, so too bloody confusing. Uh, next two games are from another uh, series. The first one we have is uh, 007 Nightfire. Probably got this about five years ago, and um, yeah, when I played like the first two missions, I thought it was brilliant. I loved James Bond games. I loved Quantum of Solace. I loved Agent Under Fire. I loved Tomorrow Never Dies on uh, the PS One, and uh, yeah, Nightfire is supposed to be really, really good as well. You know, uh, a Pierce Brosnan game, as you can see. I don't know if it was a Nightfire film. I don't think I've ever seen uh, Nightfire. Not really sure. Uh, but anyway, yeah, Nightfire, guys, it's supposed to be really, really good, but um, again, unfortunately, I've not really uh, just uh, had time to like, play through it. Uh, it's not I've not had time, I've just been playing through other games, you know. The next one we have is uh, James Bond 007 Everything or Nothing. Which, uh, again, there appears a Brosnan uh, game or film. I don't know, was that a film as well? I don't remember that many, like, James uh, Pierce Brosnan films. I remember uh, Goldeneye. I remember uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Pretty damn cool uh, films, actually. Uh, especially Goldeneye. I thought Goldeneye was pretty damn cool with the guy. I am invincible. Uh, the Russian guy. I thought it was pretty bloody funny, you know. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, yeah, I don't really know much about the, the game or the film. Uh, but going by like, the first couple of missions I played of the game, I thought the game was really, really good. And it uh, got a 9 out of 10. This is a, a third-person shooter, 
and uh, Nightfire is the, the first person shooter. So uh, never different like style of James Bond games. It's kind of like Tomorrow Never Dies in the PS One, but with updated graphics and things. So um, yeah, Barcy I've not completed it because uh, I did really really like the first couple of missions in the game. Um, so that's it for the PS2 games. Next we have the, the PS1 games. And we have, first of all, we have the game that I would say that I'm most embarrassed to say I've not completed. Considering about how big, how popular the series is, how popular this game is. And um, how expensive it is as well. It's quite expensive uh, compared to other PS1 games, you know. Uh, it's Final Fantasy VII. Oh dear. Yeah, I should play for this game, guys. I really, really should. The story started off about three years ago when I got this game, first of all, in a charity shop for like £1.49. And uh, it was missing the first disc. Disc 2 and disc 3 and the demo disc were in really, really good condition. But it was missing It was uh, missing disc 1. And when I finally saw this game again for like one ninety nine in a charity shop, final guy, I was so bloody excited to actually finally have this game complete. But I never completed it. <laughs> I never decided to play for it. That's just the way it goes with me, you know. I'm forward to getting a game for so long, and then when I final get it, never bloody can play it. Never give it the time to play for it, you know. Uh, it's quite bad, because I do hear Final Fantasy is supposed to be like one of the best games on the PS1, you know. I've heard some of the soundtracks. Soundtracks are brilliant. And, uh, you know, I do hear like, the, the whole game as a whole as a whole is brilliant, you know. So, um, Final Fantasy VII, guys. Embarrassed to say, I've only played it for about an hour. So, um... Yeah, start thumbs down this video. Don't really, don't really. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, next we have uh, Driver, the original Driver on the PS One. Yeah, Driver was a really, really good game. Uh, again, it took me quite a while when I was when I was younger to actually finally get pa like to get past like the first bit of the game, you know. You had to do like tricks and stuff and that like that. It was bloody difficult. I and mean, when I finally got round to uh, actually completing that part, I don't actually remember too many of the missions, you know. Uh, so I just kind of gave up on the game, I guess. But when I got Driver 2, it was a whole different story. I love Driver 2. But again, guys, a bit embarrassed to say I've not completed Driver 1. Uh, Driver 2 does seem like a lot better game because you can get out of your car, steal other cars. But it does seem like a really good game as well, uh, the first Driver. So, um, that's all I can say really on that. Right, next we have, uh, we have, uh, yeah, we've got, we've got uh, three different game series here, guys. Series, series, series. <laughs> three different series of games. And uh, we'll start off with whatever one springs to mind first. We'll start off with this one. Uh, first of all, we have, um, I'm not going to talk about these too much, I don't think. We have uh, Odd World Abe's Odyssey. And we have Odd World Abe's Exodus. I'm just gonna sit in the middle here and I'm gonna do that. The reason why I've not completed these games, guys, and um, the reason why I'm talking about them both together as well, because they do seem quite similar. They don't really seem that much different in how to pair them. But they're supposed to be really, really good games. I don't know whether it's just I'm not really a patient enough person for these kind of games, because it's kind of puzzle element. Uh, Elemented, elementated, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it does rely quite a lot on like puzzles and stuff, and uh, you will die a lot. Uh, from what I've heard, you will die a lot in these games. But um, I just, I don't know what. I've tried to play them. I've actually got that the wrong way around. I've actually tried to play them, but um, I always give up. You know, within like half an hour or something. But don't get me wrong, guys, I'm happy to have them in my collection, and I really, really, I do like, you know, the look of them and stuff. I did actually enjoy the demo of uh, uh, Oddworld Apes Odyssey back in the day. But I just don't think I'll be able to play for these games, because they're really bloody hard uh, for me. And, you know, I'm just not really a huge fan of, like, puzzle games, puzzle platformers, whatever you want to call them. But uh, don't get me wrong, guys, I'm still happy to have them in my collection. I do think they're good games, but I'm just maybe not the right person to play through them. But like I say, I'm still happy to have them in my collection, you know. Just a bit embarrassed to say I've not completed them, judging by, you know, how much people actually like those games. You know, I think they've got quite a big fan base. But who knows, guys, maybe, maybe I will play through them at some point. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I think there's a, a HD version, version on PSN, I think. 
And then maybe Steam as well. I'm not really sure whether whether it's getting released or whether it's already released. But I did hear a rumour about that. I'm not sure whether it's true or not though. I'm not actually seeing it for myself. But um, I wouldn't be surprised because like I say they are quite popular games. So anyway guys, next we have um, Rayman. Oh my. Oh my. You might know the reason why I've not completed this. This game kicks my ass. You know, the game seems so easy. If, like, and then suddenly it just throws you in the deep end and you drown, you know. And <laughs> it's a bloody, it gets so bloody difficult. Also, it's one of the most difficult platform games I've ever played. You know, I've played quite a few difficult platformers, but I would say this is probably the hardest I've played. And I've tried to play through it twice. I could, I just can't get anywhere. I've not played it for about three years, and um, yeah, I should really go back and play it because it's a brilliant game, guys. I love like the art style of the game, the graphics, even for like for a PS One game, the graphics still look absolutely fantastic in my opinion. They've really, really aged well. You know, it's kind of like Spyro and Crash Bandicoot. You know, I think the graphics have aged well. Uh, you know, for being a PS1 game. But, uh, yeah, Rayman, guys. I should really play for that game. You know, going by, like, how much I love platformers, you know. But, like I say, it just kicks my ass. And next we have uh, Rayman 2, The Great Escape. It's uh, a 2D... No, not 2D. It's uh, a 3D Rayman game. And from, like, the first hour, boy, I thought it was brilliant, you know. Really, really fun game. And it does seem, like, a lot easier than Rayman 1. But, um, yeah, again, not actual minds to play through it yet. Another game I should play through, because I do hear Rayman 2 is quite good as well. So, um, just thought I'd add that to the list. And we're on to the final two games, guys. Now, these games, I've completed the first two games in this series. I've completed the fifth game in this series. I've completed one of the games on the PS2 in this series. I've completed... Ah, what's this go for, guys? It is a uh, Tomb Raider 3 and a uh, Tomb Raider 4: The Last Revelation. And uh, I didn't actually complete them on the PS2 at all. I completed Legend and um, Underworld on the, the PS3 HD collection thing. But you know what I mean. Yeah, start off with Tomb Raider 3. Uh, I love Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 2. Tomb Raider 3 for me, I thought was pretty damn confusing. I did like it back in the day. When I was younger, I used to use like levels to like cheats and stuff, you know. So I never actually uh, managed to actually play through the game, and because uh, I just couldn't get far in it, because like, the first couple of levels in the game are actually like swamps and stuff, and I just kept getting lost in this swamp, kept dying repeatedly, and I just didn't really know what I was doing. So unfortunately, guys, I didn't get far into Murder Three. Uh, it's probably like the least amount of progress I've done in any Tomb Raider game. So, um, but it did seem like a good game, guys, don't get me wrong. But it was just too bloody confusing for me. And um, next we have uh, Tomb Raider 4, or uh, Tomb Raider, The Last Revelation. And um, I would say just about the same as uh, Tomb Raider 3. Didn't really get far into this game. I would say I got slightly further in this game than what I did in Tomb Raider 3. But, um, yeah, you're in the like, tombs and stuff. And, again, I just think it was really, really bloody confusing. But, um... Oh, so I'm embarrassed to say I've not completed Tomb Raider 3 and this game because, you know, this Tomb Raider, you know, Tomb Raider's popular. You know, especially the PS1 Tomb Raiders, I think, are really, really popular. And don't get, don't get me wrong, because I really do like Tomb Raider. I just really uh, found these games a bit confusing when I was younger. And I've never actually uh, decided to play for them, uh, you know, uh, a later date, like today, you know. So, um, Tomb Raider The Last Revolution. So let me know, guys, about some of these games that I've not completed. Uh, so I suppose you could say I've not completed Doom. I've got Doom on Steam. So I'm a bit embarrassed to say I've not completed Doom. Because I love Doom. Don't get me wrong, guys. The classic Doom games are brilliant, you know. I've just never really um, given them a you know a playthrough, really. I mean, I like playing Doom on Steam. Like, you know, on the computer with the mouse. I think it works really, really well, you know. Uh, at first, I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I like this or not. But once I actually got used to it, I actually really, really enjoyed using the mouse for Doom. It was the ultimate Doom that I started to play through. I mean, I've got Doom 2 and stuff on Steam, the final Doom games like that. Uh, but it was the ultimate Doom which I started first, which I believe is the first Doom. I mean, I do want to get Doom on the PS1 as well, just for the hell of it. I do like the sound effects on the, on the PS1 Doom. You know, so I will get it on the PS1 at some point. It's about £5 on eBay. But one day I will just decide to buy it, you know. Probably when I'm drunk or wrong. 
<laughs> just splash the cash. So yeah, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about some of these games. Are there any games here that I really, really should complete? You know, if you're a big fan of, I don't know, DSX Human Revolution, you know, you put in the comments, guys. You shout at me. You say you will complete that game. You know, you need to play that game. That game is brilliant, and you know, I recommend you play through. Yeah, don't be free, don't be scared, guys. Say so just say you really should play for this game. You know, uh, let me have it. Let me have it. And, uh, yeah, if there's any games that you have, guys, that you've not played through and you're a bit embarrassed about not playing through them, again, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, again, I just thought this would be a, a pretty interesting idea. It's something different, something I've not done before. And, um, yeah, I'll, um, I guess I'll uh, catch you all in the next video. See you guys. Thanks for watching.